Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying Rayo's Made for Home Brick Oven Crust. This is the Fire Roasted Vegetable Pizza. It was $12.99 at Meyer. What you want to do, if you have a brick oven, they do have instructions. Completely different. You're going to heat that oven to 700 degrees, but it only has to bake for one to four minutes, which is pretty cool. We have a regular oven, and uh, so we had to preheat our oven to 425 degrees, remove pizza from plastic wrap, and remove cardboard. Bake for 14 to 16 minutes, place the pizza directly on the center rack, bake for 14 to 16 minutes, or until the cheese is fully melted. Pizza will be hot. Let's stand for three minutes before enjoying. So, I'll show you what it looks like. We are actually going to uh, let ours bake for the full 16 minutes. And you definitely do want to, um, you could put it directly on the rack, but you want to keep your cardboard because when you take it out of the oven, you can put the pizza right back on that cardboard and cut it uh, cut it on that. So this is what it looks like and we'll be back in 16 minutes. Over 120 years in the making, each pizza is crafted with the utmost care. It starts with our famous Rayo's homemade pizza sauce made with naturally sweet vine ripened Italian tomatoes layered over a delicious crisp crust baked in a wood-fired brick oven. Then top it off with the perfect complement of our decadent cheeses and delicious fire-roasted vegetables like cremini mushrooms, peppers, red onions, and tomatoes for a taste your whole family will enjoy. Um, it says make it your own. You can garnish with a dusting of grated Parmigiano Regi Regi Reggiano and freshly chopped Italian parsley or freshly ripped basil. Uh, four servings in the container, a fourth of the pizza is only 280 calories. Bad. Not bad at all. Uh, so this so has... About half of it is 560 calories. Yeah, all of this. Um, so this has um, bell peppers, mm -hmm. mushrooms, red onions, tomatoes, and the pizza sauce. Okay. And it looks good. Hmm. That comes across a little sweeter, but I think it's because of the, the peppers and onions. I do like the sweetness of it. Mm -hmm. What amazes me is that it cools off so quickly. They tell you to wait three minutes, which I probably waited more like five minutes, really. But um, it does cool off quickly. I think it's because it's thin. Mm -hmm. It's fairly thin, mm -hmm. so it, um, it loses the heat pretty quick. I'm going to try one of these mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I love the onion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms are good. Got a good flavor to them, but they're a little, they're a little watery. Mm -hmm. I like mushrooms, but I'm not like the biggest fan like Kevin. I love them. I don't like earthy things, but I love a good earthy mushroom. Um, I think this is nice. I want to try a bite off this one because this one has mm -hmm. the bell peppers, and I didn't really get a lot of bell peppers in the first one. Hmm. I like it. Hmm? I like the crust. The crust in the back is really, mm -hmm. really good. I like the crust. I think it has a really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. I do think the tomato um, or the pizza sauce is on the sweeter side. Mm -hmm. My issue with it is, I, and I like it, and I will definitely eat it. My issue is that I would not buy it again because I think it's too expensive for the amount of toppings you get. Yeah, you would think for that price, sorry. $12.99, a $13 pizza. Yeah, and, and the vegetables they're talking about really aren't that expensive. No, and you're, you're, you're not getting a strong, like you would expect to, to be able to taste the bell pepper I did not, even though I ate the bell pepper, I'm really just tasting mm -hmm. some of the cheese, some of the pizza sauce, and some of the onion. Yeah, I'm getting the sweetness from the bell peppers and onion, but not the actual flavor of either one of them. Really. No, no, you're really not. Mm -hmm. um, it, there's not anything 
what stands out the most is the the pizza sauce and the cheese uh -huh. and the crust and that yeah and that's not what this pizza was supposed to be about yeah, i agree for for the amount you're paying um we've had other pizzas that had twice as mm -hmm. much topping on it for cheaper mm -hmm. um, oh. and and so for when you're talking about luxury prices i mean you're talking about gourmet priced pizza um, it should have twice as much. I think, yeah, a thirteen-dollar pizza. I, I, That's I, I, I <laughs> for us it is uh, because you could go out and um, go to uh, get a, a takeaway, and it's going to have so much more flavor. Mm -hmm. You're going to really be able to taste those onions. You're going to be able to taste those red bell pepper. Uh, the, I mean, the uh, bell peppers. Um, you're going to taste the mushroom. Mm -hmm. I'm just literally cheese crust and pizza sauce yeah. that's what you get from that's this it. so it's not bad but it's not near a 13 dollar level no. pizza no we can get five dollar six dollar pizzas at the store that are have more toppings. yes on. so this for us nothing bad about it but it's it's going to be a one time only yeah, it's just not worth the price yes so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching